Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a basic low poly terrain. So what I did was a simple terrain with a couple cliffs and I apply the material. So first of all, we want the av the world position. Uh, there we go. And also the DDX and DDY nodes. And after that, we want the cross product and we also want to normalize those two vectors okay cool so after that we want to add this into the normal and we want to apply it and this will be the basics of making a terrain look low poly so let's wait for this to compile and see how it looks so as you can see it already looks low poly but we have to do the tricky part now and uh, which is adding the color and it's tricky for one main reason which is uh, we don't want to have like uh, two or more different colors and the same polygons if you know what i mean because it would take out that low poly look to make it look low poly, we only want one color, like we do right now, like we have right now with the shading. So, uh, we actually need textures for this. I'll explain why. Uh, so, I actually made a dirt texture and a grass texture with, uh, which is our, which are basically one plain color, not an image texture or anything like that, and to make these um, I actually used paint.net which is very simple to use you just use the bucket tool and you're good to go so we want to get the landscape coordinates and after that we want two texture samples for those images I showed you before uh, there we go and the reason why we need textures is because they rely on the landscape coordinates for them to work correctly. So for the first uh, texture, we want to use the dirt, the grass, sorry. And for the second one, we want the dirt. So after that, we want to lerp uh, these textures. So here comes the real tricky part, which is getting the alpha right. So for this, we want to get the dot node. And we actually need a blue color. So we want to type in vector parameter. And in the, and in the color, we want a completely blue color and we want to add it to the B. After that, I'm actually going to move this back a little bit so we have a little bit of space to work. So after that, we want to subtract and we want to subtract one. So let's get a parameter, scalar parameter, and for the default value, we want one. Awesome. So we want to divide this by another subtraction. So we duplicate that. And for the B, we also want one. But for the A, we actually want a parameter which is below a value, which is below one. 0 0.9 work, works pretty well for me, but you're free to try different things and see what works well for your for you. So after that, we want to get a clamp node and the default value should be fine. And we should add this to the alpha. And also before finishing, I actually want to get this one uh, parameter value and add it to the roughness to make it look nicer so it doesn't look like plastic 
so we want to apply this and wait for this to compile and see how it looks okay so I actually I think I forgot to add this to the base color sorry so let's apply this and wait again just a little bit so there we go as you can see we the colors look actually quite nice and we don't have different colors in the same polygons which is exactly what we want so thanks for watching and if you have any suggestions please write them down in the comments thank you see you in the next one bye